people here we go again this is a little set of shorties that I've done for my mom um, we got all beetles today well all two colors it's not gonna be much but uh, I found these extra short um, oval nails nail tips so I'm trying these out to see if they'll work for her uh, the other ones I had been using for her were the short squares that I then had to file the, the ed, the, the, you know, the, the edge, the free edge down till it was oval or roundy because she didn't like the square. So I'm trying to save myself some work here. So hopefully these will work for her. Um, I'm very limited as to what I can do on any of her nails. I mean, she's 83, so, you know, what do you want? <laughs> I'm just surprised she lets me put nails on her at all. But we're going in here with, uh, we're, looks like we have already moved on to the second coat because I wasn't paying attention. So it will be two coats of this pink. And this is an easy peasy set. Took me less than an hour to do. So any skill level can do this. It's just a matter of painting the, uh, the nails and then putting stickers on there. It's hard for me doing her nails because A, they're really tiny and they're hard for me to work with. And secondly, all the stuff I want to do, I can't do. <laughs> can't have any embellishments. There can't be any crazy wild colors. Okay, now I'm going in on the thumbs and the index finger as accents with I'm just gonna go over with this sheer kind of oh I don't know if I'd call it a glitter I guess it's a glitter polish it but it's like ultra ultra fine and it's super sheer so it doesn't make a whole lot of difference it just gives it a little bit a little bit of extra okay and these are the stickers I'm using these came from Aliexpress I believe but anyway like I was starting to say um, I'm limited by what I can do like I said no embellishments I can't do anything that's gonna stick up I can't do anything that's that's rough so I can't do um, like embossing uh, I can't use any really wild and crazy colors although if you've been with me for a while a, a while back you'll um, like a month or two ago she had asked me for a set of black and white nails and you could have knocked me over with a feather my mom wearing black nails was like I mean I can't even fathom it <laughs> and the event that she wanted them for she didn't end up getting to go to because uh, her and my dad both got sick with a cold so they didn't get to go so now she's got an extra set of nails so we'll see if she ever wears those but I really kind of wanted to see black nails on her just to see what it would look like. Anyway, I am just going to go in with these stickers and I will arrange them to my liking on here, such as it is. That was the thumb. And moving on. Did I say the index finger? I put that that uh, sheer polish overlay on it was, it was the ring finger and the thumb anyway so I'm just using uh, these wild flower stickers on here I will come back to that one because later on I decided I wanted some leaves on there too. But moving on, we will just carry on with what I was doing. I'm hoping she's gonna like these because I didn't consult with her ahead of time like I normally do to ask her what she wanted and then I usually give her some options and she picks one but I had an extra afternoon so I thought I'd just bust a set of these out so she doesn't know she's getting these yet <laughs> hopefully she's gonna like them
by time. Oh, I broke one. Now I get to try and play the game of lining it up where it's supposed to be with this thing that doesn't want to hold still and cooperate. Uh, by time you guys are seeing this video, I will be out there uh, visiting my folks again, which you probably figured out since I'm doing a set of nails for her. So I've got to get my ducks in a row here and get um, one set ahead. So I have stuff to put up for you guys while I'm gone. I don't know uh, how the weather is in your neck of the woods, wherever you guys are. It's been uh, raining and super cold here for the last few days. Well, we're, we're having like three days of pretty much straight rain, which is pretty unusual for us here in SoCal. But we sorely need it, so I'm not complaining, although it is rather cold. I know for those of you in the snowy areas, uh, my complaining about the cold when it's been in the 50s or the 40s is probably, you're going to laugh at me, but for us here, that is pretty cold. And our heat, we don't have a, like a centralized heating in our house because it's not working. So we've got a couple of space heaters that we just move around wherever we're at course then you have to fight with the cats because uh, they want to there's a couple of the cats that like to sit directly in front of the heater and suck up all the heat so then you end up not getting any of it but can't blame them my oldest cat uh sashi she's not doing so good but she's the worst for sitting there i mean i have to keep moving her back away from the heater because she literally gets up there to where she's literally rubbing her face on the grill of the heater um, and she just will sit there with it like leaning up against it. I'm afraid she's going to burst into flame one of these times so I keep an eye on her. Can't blame her though. As cold as it's been I kind of want to crawl into the heater myself. Okay, let me see. What are we doing here? Oh, I decided to put in another one on there. Yep, decided I needed another one of those on the top. Now I'm sitting here trying to shove this underneath that that uh, the bigger flower. Um, when I got to the second hand that I did off camera, I finally got smart and put all of those littler ones on first, and then stuck the the bigger flower on top, so they're layered on. That's why I'm giving them a little bit extra attention to shove them down and make sure they're flush on the nail and laying flat. Sometimes when you layer the stickers, they get a little bulky or they don't want to all lay down flat. Okay, and I'm going to use the silicone tool again and just smooth this down. As you can see, my silicone tool, uh, <laughs> I don't know what's with the handle of this one. I have glued this thing on so many times it just will not stay on there. I think I'm going to have to get some pliers and try to crimp it down into the wood. Um, what I am going back and forth about right here is I was deciding on what I wanted to do. I wanted to put some leaves on there. But I did not want that whole like stock of them. So I'm going to cut that in half. I'm going to use the top half on one side and the bottom half on the other side of this little purple flower. Now, why I chose to do this with the scissors, I don't know, because it was kind of a pain. But uh, especially since my scissors are not very sharp anymore. So what I ended up doing by the time I got to the second, the second hand worth the nails, I uh, 
got, I broke out my exacto knife and I just trimmed it in half while it was still on the you know on the backing before I even pulled it off which was a much smarter way to go I should have done that in the first place but you know how it is sometimes I tend to do things the hard way getting this stupid thing to cooperate be at the right angle and then stick on here where, where I wanted it it just uh, was being a royal pain in the bia in the butt <laughs> oh I almost said something bad okay um, well, we got one on there and we gotta get the other side on which are still laying up there attached to my scissors So I will get those off of there and then we'll use this other half. It's just trying to escape and it is not going to be successful. Because I will triumph in the end and it will get on there. See, this is what I'm saying too, is that working with these little tiny nails is just is extra hard for me because you have to work well just having the gloves on is, is an, a nuisance in itself it's taken me a lot to get used to working with those but just having to handle these little tiny nails is always a, tr a challenge for me especially the pinkies <laughs> okay that hanging over a little bit so I'm going to just trim that little excess bit off I want to make sure these are all down nice and tight before I get to the top coating stage. And this is the, I'm going back to this one I, that I did earlier. I decided it needs leaves on it. So I will be adding a stock of leaves to this one. The other hand I will do off camera. Now I decided as I was looking at them like this that some of them seemed a little unfinished so I got, I went and pulled out this darker pink and I just need a teeny tiny bit of it because I'm just going to use it to make some really tiny little dots. Okay, I'll use the smallest dotting tool that I have and I'm just going to go in and I'm just going to make some dots, a little dot, like curvy dot lines uh, here and there. I got a little bit carried away on these that you're going to see me do, these three. These three uh, nails are extras that I did for her. Uh, because she's notorious for losing them so I like to make a few extra so these are the ones I'm getting the dots on I did go through and put it on all of them I'm just not going to show you that because you know you obviously can see what I'm doing if you didn't have a dotting tool and you were trying to do this you could use uh, the end of a pin for our tiny dots like this or anything that's got really tiny and I think I added one more onto this one just to give them a little bit they looked a little bit unfinished to me but okay and then we are now ready for the final top coat and I am going to just make sure that all those little bits are down nice and tight especially those ones where I've layered stuff on top of one another 
And then we're going in with the tempered top coat. When I get it going here, I'm going to give them kind of a heavy layer because I want to make sure that those uh, stickers are going to be on there really well. Plus it gives a little bit more bulk to the nail and uh, makes them a little more sturdy as these particular nail tips were, were like ultra thin. And then I will, once I am happy with the way those are looking, I will go in and give those a cure. And then we will be all done. Okay, there we are. There's the finished set. If you like them, please give me a like. I'd really appreciate it. And if you want to see more, go ahead and subscribe. I upload new ones every Saturday. And that's all I got for you this time. Stay tuned. I have more stuff coming down the line here. Okay. Take care. See you guys next time. Bye.